In a previous video, we looked at how to access your email using a web application. The downside of these web applications is that we have to be online in order to view and compose new emails. This is where email clients come in handy. Email clients give us the ability to view our messages and create new ones without having to be online. So if I was going to travel on a plane, I could download all of my emails before I got onto the plane. Then I could write my emails while I was on the flight, and as soon as I landed and connected to the internet, I could send all my emails that I had previously wrote. Email clients also give us the ability to add multiple email addresses. This can save you time so that you don't have to log on to multiple email accounts to view and write your emails. There are a lot of free email clients out there, the most common being Mozilla Thunderbird and Windows Live Mail. You can also use paid versions such as Microsoft's Outlook. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Windows Live Mail because it's free and provided by Microsoft. To get Windows Live Mail, go to Microsoft.com and click on the Downloads link at the top. Then click on Windows Live Essentials. Scroll down the page, then click the Download Now button. I recommend that you install all of the Windows Live software that comes with the Essentials download. Now let's open up Windows Live Mail by going to Start, All Programs, then click on Windows Live Mail near the top of the list. When the program starts for the first time, you will need to add your email account. Type in your email address, password, and display name, then click Next. Now LiveMail will automatically add your email account and download all of your messages from the server. After you have set up your account, you will be taken to a screen that looks very similar to the web application that we looked at in a previous video. If you are familiar with any other Microsoft Office programs, then you will notice that the layout of LiveMail is very similar to those programs. You may notice that there is a few options that the LiveMail program has that the web application does not. Under the Home tabs in the Tools section are two buttons, Send slash Receive and Work Offline. LiveMail will automatically send and receive all of your folders. But if you are about to get on a plane, then you might want to hit this button so you can have all of your most recent emails. Then you can click the Work Offline button and write those emails while you are on the flight. As soon as you land and connect to the internet, you can hit the send receive button again and send out all of your emails. The other important part of Windows Live Mail and all other email clients is the ability to add multiple accounts. We can do this by clicking on the account tab and then clicking the email button under the new account section. Then type in the account information that you would like to add. In the next video, we will learn how to deal with spam mail.